This is the Rick Expert AA54 antenna analyzer that I will demonstrate for you. Power on. There's the menu. First thing we're going to do is um, set the frequency that we want to analyze. I'm testing my um, homebrew vertical for 20, 15 and 10 meters which was not working too well. So first we're going to set the frequency for 20 meters. It's option 2 I think. Yes. Press 2. There's the frequency. I want to set the frequency. You can use the numeric pad. 1 4 1 7 5. There we go. So first thing I want to do um, is just give me the information all the information for this frequency frequency it's option 8 show all press 8 press ok there it is what's so great about the RIG Expert AA54 is that it can actually scan a range so that's what we're gonna do now we're gonna exit this menu and I'm going to scan the SWR that's option 4 there it is the frequency 14 megahertz 175 kilohertz the band width or the range I can set that with this knob yeah so um, 248 kilohertz that's okay press the OK button there we go. As you can see the SWR optimum is um, a little bit below the frequency so I will use the left and right arrows to set it to the dip. Press the OK again and it will scan again. One great thing is that it can also scan the reactive component um, and the uh, resistance. So we're going to do that right now. It's um, option 5, I think. So 5, press OK. The dotted line, I think, is the reactive component and the um, steady line is the resistance so it's resonant it's a little bit too low so um, I need to make it a little shorter than on 20 meters of course you can use it for simple SWR measurement yeah on one frequency frequency now is still 14 point fifth uh, I don't know so option 7 yeah measure the SWR gives you clear indication if you're measuring below the antenna alright one great option is that it can do a multi SWR measurement so it can actually measure on five frequencies and indicate the SWR that's option F7 so there's the menu as you can see I already set the frequencies if you want to set the frequency you press the 2 button so if you're into CW you press the 2 button I can set the frequency 28050 is there. What the great thing about this is when you um, when you're tuning a multiband a multiband antenna um, some changes can uh, have impact on multiple bands so you can see it over here I press the OK button and there you have it and it's constantly measuring SWR as you can see it's okay on 10 meters it's terrible well not terrible but it's not too good on 20 meters and it's okay on 20 meters as well it's not so good on 15 meters